Hello, welcome to Mrs. Pilcher's Bookshelf. Today, we are going to do a craft. Since we've done some stories on winter and snow, I thought it would be fun to show you how to make a snowflake. Now, the supplies you need for doing this are pretty simple. You need a pair of scissors and a piece of paper or a coffee filter. But you need to be sure that you ask mom or dad if you can have these things and they may even want to join in the fun. All right, so to make a snowflake, you can see my paper is rectangular, but I like to work with a square piece of paper. So you're going to take it and you're going to fold it into a triangle. Let me show you how you're going to do this. Oh, I didn't get that exactly right. So you're going to fold it over. See if I unfold it. You're going to just take this corner, go over to the top. Now, you have some extra paper here. We're going to cut that off. If you have origami paper, that works, origami paper works really well because it's already in a square shape. Or a coffee filter because that's round and it's thinner and it's easier to work with. So now I have a triangle. We're going to keep making triangles. I'm going to fold it over again. another triangle. I'm going to fold it again. Okay, and this is where we're actually going to cut on this, this side. So you can make them different sizes. If you want to fold again, you can. It's going to be a little harder to cut through, but it's going to be um, pretty delicate and pretty looking. Now you can see we have some extra up here, so I would cut that off so that you're, be sh you're sure to have it square. But I'm going to open it back up so that we can work with this size. Making a snowflake is really very easy. So you're going to take your scissors, and I like to snip off the corners. And yeah, you kind of get some snow flying. So be sure you have mom's permission before you do this because it does make, does get a little messy. All right, so I have my corners cut off. The next thing I wanna do is to make some patterns. Now, triangles for me are the easiest to make. And I can make them different sizes. I can make them kind of long. I can make them short and a little longer that way. You can make them, but I probably want to make a pattern. I want to be sure I have a pattern because that looks the best because snowflakes are symmetrical. They're all different, but they're symmetrical, meaning they are the same on both sides. So I want to make, I want to have a pattern to this. And oh, let me see. I think I can get one more long one in here. Okay, so not perfect, but it'll be okay. Um, one I like to do is a long, kind of a long on one side, short on the other side. And you can vary this as much as you want and have lots of different designs. I've got paper all over me, but hey, that's happening. Now, the other shape that I like to make is kind of like a moon or a half circle. And these are a little trickier to make, but they do add some interesting design to it. Ah, there we go. Snowflakes everywhere. You can pretend you're having a snowstorm in the house. I'm going to try something here. We'll see. Let's hope it doesn't destroy Okay, so I have a design on each side, all three sides. I'm going to open it up. Hope that it all stays together. And there's my snowflake. So it's just lots of fun to be creative. Mom and dad might want to join in and make some snowflakes too. And like I said, um, you can make them square, you can make them round. I have had students show me how to make them round. 
out of paper, but I don't remember how to do that. Um, but you could probably find it someplace or just use a coffee filter. That works great. So anyway, I hope you have fun making some snowflakes. I would le love to see some of, of your snowflake designs. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk with you another time.